Welcome! It's a great day to be a miner. Today we have three brand new RTX 3060 Ti's that we're going to test out. We're going to set these up in an open airframe. We're going to test out their hash rates on Ethereum. We're going to check their performance. We're going to check their efficiency. We're going to see their temps. We're going to see how much these things make. But without further ado, let's spin that intro. Pew. So we're, here we go. We've got the Gigabyte Gaming 3060 Ti Pro OC. That's a mouthful. Slotted into our open airframe. We do have a couple extra risers in there for the next couple cards we're going to test. We've got our power all set up. We got our little monitor. Let's go ahead and boot this thing up. Okay. like that RGB logo right there. That is pretty. RGB adds hashes. For all you new miners out there, RGB adds hash rate. Write that down, note it. It's a very important aspect of mining. RGB equals hash rate. All right, so we're up and running. We're in Windows. We're gonna test this out. We're just gonna throw it onto nice hash because that's open right now. We're gonna see what kind of hash rate. We'll use MSI Afterburner to check it out. This does have a beautiful three fan design, the illuminated Gigabyte logo, a eight and six pin. The back is solid, or the end cap is solid because it has the blow through design on the fins, much like the Founders Edition design. All right, we're set up in Windows. We've got Afterburner up. Let's zoom in and let's change our settings, our overclocks. Let's start out with a 65%. Let's do a core clock of minus 500. Let's do a memory clock. We'll start with 1200 plus. That's a nice normal overclock let's set uh you activate our custom fan curve if you've never done that before you go into your settings you select fan and you can set a custom fan curve highly advisable all right hashing away hashing away do we have any shares yet 61.1 mega hash 61.16 And we have an accepted share, 61.37. So we're getting 61.3 mega hash. But wow, it's at 160 watt. That is really high. We need to crank that back some more. I'm surprised. I put it clear back to 65 in afterburner. Let's see how much we can drop it. Let's go to 50% uh, power. Power only dropped to 147. It's pretty high power. Let's crank it down farther. See if we can crank it as far as it'll go down. So I've put the power down to 41%. That's as low as it will allow me. And the power did not drop. The power is at 147 watts. This card must be BIOS locked the power will not go any further down. That's interesting. This is the Gigabyte Gaming OC Pro Edition 3060 Ti, and it will not crank the power down any lower. That's interesting for any of you miners out there. If you're using Windows, you might not be able to crank this thing down very far. 61.1, let's, let's up this uh, memory. Let's see if we can get a little bit more out of this. 
let's go 1300. Very important when you're tweaking your overclock settings, do not click your startup button right here on your afterburner because if you overclock too much and it crashes and then your windows can't boot, it's because that setting is trying to make it boot with your overclocks. It's a little better, we're almost up to 62 mega hash. 61.9, 61.94, 61.94. Let's, let's go a little more, let's keep going. Let's see if we can crash it. See what's the most we can get without crashing. It's a big one, let's go 1400. 1400, 1400, what do I get? Go gigabyte, gigabyte for the win. 62.2, 62.6, 62.7, keep climbing. Keep climbing, you can do it. 62.73. Man, that power, 150 watts, not very efficient. Let me rephrase that, not very efficient compared to other 3060 Ti's. 150 watts, 63 mega hash, we're up to 63. Can we hold 63 and get shares? Crank it a little more, let's crank it more. How much can it go? Afterburner will let me go to 1500. 1500 on the memory. Come on, Gigabyte. Man, 150 watts. You'll notice it says 61% power. It will not go, even though Afterburner is showing 41% power, it will not go any lower. 63.5. Holding a temperature of 51C. We are getting correct shares. We're getting 63.5 on 150 watts. Gigabyte for the win. Let's see how much that's making at today's rates. Today's rates using nice hash. We are calculating at $4.56 per day before electricity. Real quick, I've been written, letting this run and look at all those invalid shares. 10 invalid shares. This overclock is too much. Let's crank it back and see what we can actually get that is sustainable. All right, after plenty of testing and tweaking and adjusting, we have our final hash rate and overclocks for this card. On Phoenix Miner, on Ethereum, you can get 62.5 mega hash. Unfortunately, it's also running at 150 watts. That's because the power limit of 61% won't let it go below that. I suspect this is in the specific BIOS of this Gigabyte card. None of the other 3060 Ti's I have touched could get stuck this high in the voltage. Here's my final overclock settings that are stable. Again, this is the Gigabyte Gaming Pro OC Edition. We're going to jump to our next card. Our next contestant is the MSI Ventus 2X OC. Come on down. All right, so we have our first starting OC and we got 65% power, negative 500 core and plus 1200 memory. We're gonna launch nice hash, we're gonna benchmark, we're gonna test it out, we're gonna catch the perfect hash rate to where we're getting valid shares with the lowest juice possible. All right, initial run with these settings, not bad. 61.1 and 130 watts. Let's try to bump up the memory some more and bump down the power and see what we can get. All right, I think this is our sweet spot for the MSI Ventus 2 XOC. We've got it at 60% power, minus 500 core, 1375 on the MEM. And we are running at 62.3 mega hash. We are getting plenty of valid shares. We had one that was a lost share. Um, we have $4.40 per day via NiceHash on Ethereum via Phoenix. Big difference on this one, 120 watts. You're getting 62.3 on only 120. It's much better than the Gigabyte Gaming Pro OC. Saved the best for last, the 3060 Ti Founders Edition. This thing is a beast. And if you can get one at or near MSRP, man, what a value. $400 plus tax, cannot beat this card. So let's get it in here, get it tested, and just see how well it does perform. All right, we're gonna start with initial overclocks for the Founder Edition, 65% power. We're gonna go negative 500 core, 1250 on the memory. And let's fire up Phoenix and see if we're getting valid shares. 
All right, after quite a bit of tweaking on the Founders Edition, this is where we ended up 67% power. We're at negative 500 core and a plus 1200 memory. We're getting 61.16, so almost 61.2 mega hash, which is about 434 a day, uh, according to nice hash as of the current time. So this one actually couldn't push as hard as the others. I was just constantly getting invalid shares whenever I tried to push that memory up very much or if I had my power lower I had to go those two extra percent above 65 percent just to get it stable at 61.165 so that's the final on the founders edition but just note that it is running super cool it's super solid I bet this is probably the most long-term reliable card of the group so now we're just going to boot the rig back up with all three of the 3060 Ti's in. Let's get them all three running with our optimal overclocks. Let's test out and see how much mega hash they combine for. And let's see how much total power draw we're getting at the wall on this rig. All right. So after quite a bit of tweaking, I got all three cards running. They're up. They're rock solid. They're steady. I've had to trim and move around my overclocks, but... I am currently at 184 mega hash, and that equates to $12.88 a day on nice hash. And let's check out our total power draw. It's telling me I am drawing 134 watts, 150 watts, and 120 watts. I've got one really good silicon. I've got the Gigabyte is running at a high wattage because of the BIOS. I am sure it's locked. And the other one I had to crank up the wattage a little bit to get the desired output. So total watts, 403 in the application. And total amount of watts at the wall, 512. So 512 watt total at the wall for a 3x3060 Ti rig making 1280 per day as it currently stands. Now that is pretty darn impressive. Is that all you ask? But wait, there's more! We still got a 3070 Founders Edition unopened in the box. We've got a Gigabyte Vision 3070 still in the box. We got a Gigabyte 3070 Gaming uh, OC coming in the mail has not arrived yet. We've got a pickup from Best Buy coming. If you need help, make sure to check out my how to buy guide and get your hands on some of these awesome cards. Now let's jump over to the PC real quick. Check out our spreadsheet we're creating with the exact numbers on these. We'll check out the ROI, the mega hash comparison, how much price per hash is, and keep on mining. All right, real quick, let's go over to the numbers. Here are the three models. We get the 3060 Ti Gigabyte Gaming OC Pro. It had a max hash rate of 63.5. These max hash rates weren't exactly um, sustainable. They weren't holding valid shares all the way through, but I marked them down just for the heck of it. The actual hash rate running was 62.5 at 150 watts again i could not go below 61 percent power and at 61 percent power it was locked at 150 watts um, the temperature stayed at 51 not too bad and there's my clocks um, so then i paid 529 dollars for that one plus tax 570 dollars and then my earnings per day were slightly above 445 would be a roi of 128 days excluding electricity then the msi ventus 2x oc 63 was the max uh, mega hash the sustained mega hash running was 62.3 at only 120 watts uh, 49c temperature 60 percent power minus 500 core um, 1375 on the mem i've got that memory cranked on that one 479 was my cost plus tax 510 four dollars and 40 cents per day 115 day roi Founders Edition, I could only push it up to 62.5. I could not push the top end on this thing as much. And then my running average was only about 61.2 mega hash. I did have to bump the wattage slightly up to about 67% to get it stable. Um, 49C, 67% power, minus 500 core, 1200 memory. I could not push above 1200 memory. I tried 1225 and I kept getting invalids, invalids. Price, 
$399 MSRP, best buy, best value, $29 tax, $429. That's earnings of $4.32 per day, and that's only a 99-day ROI if all things stay equal. Amazing. Let's cut to that outro. Well, there you have it. The reigning efficiency cost per hash king, the RTX 3060 Ti. If you have better results or helpful tips to share, make sure to drop a comment down below. If you're new to mining or you need help, make sure to join the Hash Raptor or the Mining Misfits Discord. There's plenty of people in there willing to help you out, get you up in mining. If you like this video, you know what to do. Smash that like button and subscribe and follow us for future content. Thanks for coming along and enjoy the ride. Thank you.